Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 19 here on Ravenport. We are going to carry straight on from where we left off in the last episode, so let's get to it. Yeah, Brempool, Writer's Sepulis, Yannak, and 1977 Rugrat are now valued horses on our farm. So at the moment we've got Black Wolf 36, Tiny Big Man, Silver Wolf 187, Silver Fennekin, McStallion YT on the road, I'm All Ears Are You, Randall White, 1977 Rugrat, Yannak, Rytus Sepulis, Brempool, Dude Guy Man 131, Deva 2018, Scott M and Edward Jasper. All horses on our farm, all valued horses. We've got four who are going to be sold fairly soon, well tomorrow actually. Um, but we won't actually get to that in an episode for a day or two because we've got a lot of work to do between now and then. So let's jump into you first. We will lift that one up like that. And extend everything out like that. Spin you round. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to run up to the other end. Go whizzing up through here. And I will do once up round the top with this one, so that we can get started on it. And then we will let it just carry on doing. And I'm not going to leave a swath, so the swath is already disabled on it. That's good. So once around will be enough. Uh, if I go to you and I unfold you, and then we get started. Right, in we go. I think once, yeah, once around should be enough so that we can then leave this one going and we jump up over to the next combine and we get going with that one as well. And that one, it's going to take a fair while to do once around the field with that one, but we can still do it. Um, and that'll give us time. Then we have to decide whether or not we're going to, you know, I suppose we would want another combine. Another one would be a good idea if we were to if we were to have two of them. I could have one of them running around one of the fields and one working on the other field. Because the field, was it field 11 I think it is? Um, not the, the one that we joined all together, but the other one. That's not actually uh, got that much. Yeah, that, that's, that's quite a big field, but we don't need to do once around the edge on that one. That one we could just leave it as it is. Which means that we could put a combine going in there and then manually do the outside round on the other field before we leave the combine working up and down on that one. Because I think that our final field, we do want to manually go once round the edge, like we are with this one. Once round is going to make a big difference to how everything does end up coming off the field. All right, right here, that there's a spot right there, actually. It always ends up lifting it higher than it should. Right, there's one bit there that I do think that we ought... Well, I'm not going to worry about it at this stage in the playthrough on this map because we're nearly done. But um, there is a point there that I think would benefit from us going through and, you know, if, if it was earlier earlier days, would benefit from us going through just leveling it off a little bit, just smoothing things out and making it look a little bit tidier. I'll bring this on down. I'm going to just put the hired help going to head up there and then I'm hoping I will be able to get a trailer hooked on to our tractor along with the front weight and then back in underneath the combine before I uh, before the combine actually stops. We'll see if we can actually keep it running or before it gets up to the other end. Getting up to the other end is actually going to be, be the biggest thing. Right, we could get to you right there and we'll bring you round this way. Up under here, Oop, down that way a little bit there, now press H, okay that one's away and I will go straight over to you, getting the trailer shouldn't be, uh, shouldn't be difficult but it's, it's getting everything hooked on and getting it ready and then getting it to the combine before the combine tries to turn around too much because we've got to be able to unload it before it starts going back in the opposite direction because the spout then will be on the wrong side. I mean, I could just do it with the spout on the wrong side. And we could just leave it like that. But I'm not sure if I actually want to. Did I turn crop destruction off? 
I think if I haven't, I certainly intended to. I think I did. So we bring you up to here. We are definitely not going to be able to follow the combine along up here very much. But if we bring you out to there. There we go. Right, we caught it. So I can stop right there. If I bring you back round like that. And then bring that trailer like that. And we bring it forward a bit. All the way down to there. Perfect. Right, we'll leave that one there. And then we can head up this way to you. That combine right there. We'll... Yeah, we'll leave that field there. We've got the Fent 9T on here with the... Um, with this header on. I'm going to use this header again. This is the same header I'm like on, on our next combine. We'll use this same one. Um, just because I want to. Uh, the red one. I think it goes best. I, th I do think it actually goes quite well with this. So I'll unfold that. Bring you round. Now the general consensus for the combines was don't use the Stevie mods. So I won't use the Stevie mods for the combines. At least not in this series. Maybe we will in the next one when we've got the really big fields that we're planning to do. Uh, but yet yeah, generally people didn't want me to on this one. So if I bring that up there. I do have to be careful that I don't get hooked by a train. Um, I'm doing one pass along this bottom end. Just to make life a little bit easier for us. To so start you up. It's only because I don't want him going onto the road and turning around there. And I think he might. So if I do one pass along here, I won't worry about the bits down that side. We'll leave that for another time. But one pass along here. Wow. Okay. There's a lot of wheat going to come off of this field. Right? You look at the amount that we're getting just coming across there. There is... By the time we get up the other end, there is going to be a lot of wheat on there. Which means that we are going to have our work cut out keeping these two combines going. I mean, I, I would like to try and keep two of them going if I can. But it's, it's uh, going to end up coming out being a little bit difficult, I think. Right. Um, right let, me, let me just run this one up to the other end. And then I will run down to the far corner and we'll start down there and we'll, we'll, we'll let it keep going. Alright, out to there like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to race up this end. I'm not going to worry about the fields up the other end. I'm not going to worry about um, like turning on their crops or anything. So we're not going to cut a, a, a swath along the top end. I only did a swath down the bottom end just to avoid like the road and that. So we'll get to uh, about here, I should think. And we will press H. There. We'll just start that going like that. Now, is it going to be able to get into this field properly? When we come to do this, I'm thinking, yeah, we are going to join these fields together. I'm just wondering how much extra work we'll need to do in order to be able to join them together without sort of any major hiccups. Wow. Okay, we actually timed that just perfectly right on the end there, getting, the, um, getting it lined up just right. I'm actually quite impressed with that. We'll keep a half an eye on this one a minute while we go and order our next combine. So we, we are going to want to run two of these bad boys. So there's the ideal that we want. At the moment, we've got the Fent. We've got the 9T. We definitely want the 9T engine in it. And we've got Fent. So we can go for Challenger. We can go for Massey. Or we can go for Fent. We'll go for Massey this time. Because we are using a red one. Uh, a red header. So we can have that. We can actually buy this combine outright. I'm not going to. I'm going to I'm just going to lease it because that means that we're going to have a lot more money available for going after the um the land that we want. The land is the single most important part now of all of our different bits that we're doing. The land is the single most important part that we need to be focusing on. Uh I want to buy that one. No, I don't. No, I just want to lease it. There, 5 grand instead of buying. And we come back here like this. Right, so you have done... You're about halfway through. That's fine. And... How is that combine doing? 70%. Right, I'll tell you what I'll do. I will go back to this one. And we'll do a quick run down the end of the field. We will spin round and we'll get underneath the spout of that combine there. 
We will run back up alongside it just a little bit so that we can unload some of the grain that is on board. And then once we've done that, we can skip up the road. We can go and get our new combine up there and we can drive that one up the field and we can start doing the next field. We'll also want to get our lorry ready, our truck ready and hook in the second trailer. We'll do, we'll do the road train bit on that. We'll have both the trailers running. Um... It's going to make our life a lot easier if we run both trailers. I suspect that we're going to be doing more than one trip. We will fill up, I suspect, both of those trailers easily, bring them all back, and then we'll have more besides. This trailer here, I'd like to use this one to buy all of the chickens. That's going to be our next big thing we've got to do, is we've got to buy all the chickens. We've got to buy 400 chickens for each of the chicken farms up there. And that's not a small thing to go and do, because it takes absolutely ages to go and press the button. But, like, the, that, the, like the, you, know, you know the thing that really bugs me with it, is, is how long it takes to go and just keep pressing the button until you've gotten, your, um, gotten everything ready. Right, it's that one. Now we go to this one. Let me get this one over and hooked in. I'm thinking I'll drive this one up to the field so that it's ready. And then we'll worry about getting the, um, get in the truck and also, right, have I got, yep, yeah, just looking to see if there was a train coming. I can't see any sign of a train coming. Um, we'll get this one up to the field, then we'll worry about unloading the other big combine. We'll get the truck ready, we'll get the, the trailer hooked up ready for that one as well. For now, we just want to race this one up into the field and we'll start cutting all the way round. I'm going to do once all the way round at that field up there. Um, you can see it there over in the distance. Once all the way round that one and then we'll be done. Now some people are saying that they do like the idea of me doing a big cotton harvest on this map before I leave. I am liking this idea of doing a big cotton harvest on this map. Um, it's going to be obviously it's another expense. Helper D has an early full grain tank. It is going to be another expense uh, in order to get the cotton harvesters. And we're definitely going to be wanting three, maybe, you know, three or four cotton harvesters minimum to be able to do this properly, right? We're, we're not going to be wanting to do this with just a couple of cotton harvesters uh, just because of how much we've got here. But I'm wondering about the wisdom of this, right? That is a big undertaking right at the end of this map. And I'm sort of wondering how fed up people are with this map so far and how quickly you'd like me to kind of finish up the series and get a move on. Do you want me to do... So, I'm um, do this. This is all on the comments. Right? The comments will rule this. If you would like me to do a big cotton harvest to finish this one off, then say so. We'll get as many cotton harvesters as we can lease. Um, you know, we'll get four or five of them in here. Um, I don't know how many we'll end up being able to lease. But it should, it, I mean, it, it should be a bit of fun. So I want you. And where's my other trailer? Where? Oh, it's out that side. Over there. Um, we'll, we'll get as many trailers as we can lease, but I don't know how many that's going to be. Um, as many trailers, uh, cotton harvesters as we can lease. Um, but yeah, like I said, I don't know how many that's actually going to be. So, it could be a limited number of cotton harvesters. And also, like, it's trying to manage them all as well. I'm quite happy to do it, don't get me wrong. Um, I, I think it could be an interesting thing to do. But we are planning to go really big scale on our next map. That is one thing that we are going to do. It's one thing I've said. With the next map, we're go it, it's all going to be about big scale. That's what the next one's going to be. So I'm quite happy to wait and do a large scale cotton harvest on the next map rather than on this one. Um, and I'm equally happy to do as our last job here a massive great big cotton harvest here and we'll do a big job of something else on um, the new map. So it's entirely up to everybody that's watching. Get into the comment section and talk about this one. It's very important that you do. It will shape the final episodes of this series and the beginning, well, and or um, some of the episodes in the next series as well. I'm not going to guarantee anything at all. I'm not making any promises for anything at all. But um, 
yeah, if you would really like me to do a cotton harvest, say so. Now, why aren't you, how far back have I got to go in order for that one to start up? That back here. Oh, just got to get that out of range. There. Now I can start it up. Move this one up along here. And we can match the combine. Speed for speed all the way down through like this. It is quite sure. I, I, I do notice that these trailers, and I've noticed this before. These trailers, they're just a little tiny bit too high for these combines actually. It's, it's not brilliant, is it? It would be a lot better if these trailers were a little tiny bit lower. Or, well, actually, it would be better if the spout was a bit higher on the combine. Um, that when it came out, it actually angled up a little bit higher than it does right now. Because uh, it does seem to cause some issues. I don't know how much in the way of issues, but it definitely does cause issues. Right, I think we'll stop that one right there. Turn you off, and then we'll jump down over to you and... Gee, that's going to work out very nicely for that one. So we can spin round now and we can go and unload this combine. And then we can go back to our other combine and we can start doing the new harvest all around that field as well. So we'll, we'll run that one just until we get a full tank and then we'll bring the trailer over and um, unload it. This one here, we'll unload this tank right now. 80, just reached 80%, didn't it? So... We get this one here unloaded, and I'm kind of wondering how much we're going to need to do with this one to... Hmm. No, 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 sorry. What I'm wondering is, uh, with the chickens, do I take this up and unload it into the chickens now, or should I just dump it into storage for a minute, and then we'll worry about going and putting grain... I think we'll do it that way around. I think we'll just dump this quickly into storage... And we'll worry about putting the um, food in for the chickens later on. Uh, once all the harvest is done, uh, rather than worrying about it at the moment. It's probably going to be the quickest way. Right, you're actually finished unloading completely. There. So I'll let that one go. Uh, switch that engine off and we can go to the combine. Okay, combine. Big bad boy right here. We have got disabled straw swath. I don't want to leave the straw swath going. There we go, like that. Press B to start that one up. And we're away. There we go, the first slice of the Massey Ferguson Ideal 9T. I do like this combine. It is a very sleek and beautiful machine, is it not? Is that not a sleek and beautiful beastie? Now we've got a, a, a li little bit of a run to do all the way up through here. So the only problem with having to do a manual run around the outside is that we do actually have to stick with it. And this field here, it doesn't lend itself well to just leaving the hired help get on with it. We do actually have to do the manual run around the edge. I can set up course play to do this apparently. And I'm going to be looking into course play more in the next series. Um... But like I said, I would like to try and do this one without course play. So uh, we will have, well, it's not actually going to be that much more, I don't think. We've got this harvest that we want to do. We've got the silage that we're selling. We've currently got $600,000 that we're sitting on. And we've got to get, I think it's about $2 million. We're going to have a load of eggs down by the chickens. We've got some wool that we can sell as well. We're going to get a load more eggs pretty quickly, actually. It's not going to take long to get a load more eggs from the chickens, especially now that we're in a position where we can buy a load more eggs from the chicken. Uh, the, the, uh, buy a load more chicken, sorry, to get more eggs. So we've got seven chicken pens down there. Um, that's, you know, all, all of these things together, they're adding up to give us... A huge chunk of money. I'm gonna try and let me just have a look at this a second. We want to go here very quickly. We want to go to land. Uh, you are 1.2. You are 495 and 423. So I've I've actually got the money that I can buy one more field so far. Um, and it's then we're looking at well we need two million dollars altogether, 600k and we need another 1.4 million silage that we've got left now i would estimate that we're going to get in the region of 350,000 for that maybe 
maybe a tiny bit more I'm not quite sure and then after that we're looking at uh, well we, we ought to be able to get some for the wheat that we sell we, we're not going to need to keep all of this wheat are we there, there's going to be a load more that we're going to want to get uh, that we can get you are 86 percent right let's chase up across there and see if i can get to you before that one gets to the very end of the field if i can fantastic because it means we don't need to drive on the crop to unload it i will do i'll just drive on the crop i don't i don't think it really matters uh, we'll bring you up this way because if you were doing this in real life the combine would be doing everything in strips right the driver would be acting a little bit more sensibly than he normally does so we can stop right actually i'll just leave that there can't i stop you right there the combine will unload i can go over here i've got that one yeah they start to do strange he starts to do strange things at this point doesn't he like leaving little bits and, and doing it in what are you doing hmm I also I want to check a minute have I got crop destruction on or off plant growth plant with crop destruction is off right okay let's bring you back a bit further all the way down here in fact like that and then we'll press H so that you go all the way from the very end of the field. Try and make this a little bit tidier. There, that'll work. And then we'll we'll have to unload it once we get back up to the other end of the field. But th that'll be fine. We'll worry about that when we get there. Oops, no, I don't want to press H on there. I want to go B. I just want to start it up like that. We'll bring this one up through here. And then once we get to that, you know, I could just press H and I could let the hired help carry on. Now we've done this bit over next to the railway, which is probably going to be the most problematic bit. The rest of it has got road all the way around it. And I don't think it's going to cause us as many problems. I would still prefer to do a full run all the way around the outside for this one. I just think it's going to be a little bit better, especially like up at the top of the field, because we don't have a lot of space running along the top of that cliff. And... I get the impression it is going to cause us some issues up there. I, that's, that's, those are the sort of issues that we could really do without. We've got a train coming through. This one, oh no, helper H, that's our helper down the bottom. Alright. Let me just make the map bigger and we'll see where he's, which way is he going. Right, it looks like he's still going up across the field the other way. He hasn't turned round yet. If he hasn't turned round yet, there ain't a lot that we can do. Right, he's not going to... We, we, can't, we can't get down there and unload him if he's going the other way still. I mean, well, technically we can, but I, I don't want to. I, want, I still want to... I want to try and unload this going in the correct direction as often as possible. If, if I can. If I can do that, that's what I'd like to try and get away with doing. We're on 86% on this one, so a little bit more and we will have a full tank. Uh, if we, well, we ought to be able to get up to the corner and start heading straight up the hill up that way, which means that we'll be able to unload it on a slightly quieter road. That's all I'm thinking, is if we can use a quieter road to unload it. We'll bring you back over here like this, and then we'll go in again. Like that. Just ease in around that corner a bit. There we go. That should just, it's just easing around the corners like that um i find it makes it a little bit easier and i don't know how it does like in, in a in a thick crop in the uk you, you we've got like really really thick crops um so it's it's a thing where you would generally try to get around the corners like that you cannot you don't want to turn too sharp right it doesn't matter where you are what you're doing you still do not want to turn your tractor too sharp as you're going around the corner helper h has a full grain tank just because i let him go all the way back up to that end um, far did he go? Oh, he's done pretty well. We've we've got a little bit left up one end. Bring this up here. I'm sort of thinking. No, we've got this one harvest here. I am thinking that we won't do another harvest until we've like I can fast forward a day or two and we can just have the the ground um, laid uncovered for a bit. Uh, because, you know, there's, there's kind of like you do in real life, whereas we're harvesting in the autumn and then you'd leave it for several months because we'd be planning to put in 
spring crops. So we're not going to be putting, we're, as we're not putting winter crops in, um, it'll, the, the ground will stay without anything on it for quite some time before that winter crop is ready to go in. Uh, before the, sorry, the, the, before the spring crop is ready to go in. So we've got a full trailer load here. I'll bring that on down and we'll tip that out into our store. And then... Um, oh, actually... No, no, no. I was just, just thinking, I want to take this one to the, the chicken pen right up the very top. But no, I can't do that yet because I don't have chickens up there. And you can't really put much grain in when you don't have any chickens. So we'll bring you over this way and we'll tip that lot into there. Like that. Helper D has a nearly full grain tank. So that one can just be left to tip. And I will go up here. You are... Yeah, you're going to do your crazy thing. I'm going to leave you to it. Um, I've got that one that needs to be emptied out. And this one here that's going to need to be emptied out as well. So let's go to you. We will run along. Yes, we're just, we're just going to have to run on the field. We'll do it like that. I'll bring you up behind, and then we can we can run up alongside the combine, and we'll, we'll so we will we'll be able to unload everything. And then we can run over to our combine over the other side. As soon as we've done this, does he want? If, when I'm up on this field, when I'm when I'm up here, I'm getting some really weird lag spikes on this. I don't know if it's the combine. I don't know if it's the mods. It's doing it more when I'm zoomed out. But like I zoom out like this. And I'm getting some weird laggy bits occurring here and there. And I'm not really sure why. It might be... Uh, I suspect it's also to do with the hired help. Like the hired help down the bottom. He's done that weird thing with that field where he's sort of backed around. He's, he's reversed all the way across the field. And he's done a tiny, tiny little bit. And then he said, you know what? I can't be bothered with this anymore. And he's given up. And he's gone home. Which makes me think that there is definitely a stump under the ground there somewhere. Where it is, but there's definitely one there somewhere. Right, I'll bring you out this way, so we don't put anything into the back trailer just yet. The train has not long gone through, so we don't need to worry about that one. All we need to do is just get our trailers across the line over here, up round, and we can unload that combine. 56,000 litres of grain on board already. Let's go up through here, like that. And we get to you. Right. 56,000 litres of grain on board. It's not actually... like that's, that's quite a bit of grain, that is. That, that is a fair old slice. I'll run that all the way down through like this. Go on, keep going. And I can stop... Actually, I can just stop that one there. And then... Right, you are done. I've got that combine up there that I do want to actually get going again. So what I'll do is I'll... Yeah. See, it, I don't know why it does that. It sort of turns itself round and it reverses the wrong way and turns itself again and then it gives up. Right, it, it doesn't really make any sense as to all the reversing and, and driving across the field and reversing and stuff. That's the bit that I don't quite understand, that the logic with this thing. But then... Trying to understand the logic of those things is, yeah, it's, it's just not going to happen. Right, I want to be in this combine here. So let's put that one back and start you up and we can carry on our merry. We get right, we, yeah, we, we, we'll keep doing what we were doing. We're going to go once around this field. We will do it. We'll go all the way around the field and then once we've done that, we're then able to set the hired help going. I mean... The height that it's going to have just about finished up. No, it won't. There's a lot more on that. I was, I've, I've misjudged it. I was looking at field 11 and I was thinking, it's going to have just about Well, there we go, folks. I'm afraid that's it. We've run out of time, which means that we need to head on home. So if you've enjoyed this episode, then please hit down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.